that. Okay. Do the lines on it. Let me shave this down a little bit a, more. Yeah, I need about another. Okay, the trouble is I don't have those ends over there. Four or five centimeters off of there. But I can just pull the tape. I so pull the tape out there. Pick up that pile of sand. That's a really different kind of sand. Okay. Here it goes. The drama ensues. Basically, you get it straight and, and a relatively clean face. Well, note on the surface because it's PVC, uh, specifics about where it was collected. You know, it'll be Grady Collins site. And we'll also note, um, you know, something about. You can tap that on there, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, the. Uh, you know the logic, or do you want me to explain the logic? Yeah, do you mind explaining? I okay, don't... basically you've got a fine grain sand here. But you know, based on the fact that the the energy that deposited that sand uh, was a slow uh, um, process. Uh, however, if you feel the sand grains, they're fairly fine, very fine. There's no coarse fraction. The indications are that this sand was exposed to the surface, and as such, each one of these particles of quartz uh, were exposed to sunlight. And at that moment, the a clock, imagine a clock got set back to zero. And over the many millennia that this stuff has been buried, these silica particles have been absorbing background radiation. Uh, and incorporating that into the, the silica. And as a result of coring this, in this center area is a sample of this sand that hasn't been exposed to sunlight, not on the ends, but in the, in the actual. And in this are those sand grains that haven't been exposed to sunlight. So when they go to the OSO lab, they will collect that sample and then literally measure the amount of absorbed background radiation which will be expressive of the amount of time since the surface was exposed to sunlight. Uh, and uh, uh, so anyhow, um, that's OSL 101. Um, to show you, you know, what sort of particles the stuff was collected in because the stuff that's right above it is, uh, is different. And as you can see, there's an erosional unconformity there. There's something missing. There's a package of time missing there. Whether it's one day, uh, one week, one year, 50 years, a thousand years, nobody knows. So, so this is the only way of, of aging? Yeah, because there's no charcoal in here that you can actually date. And the few bits of charcoal that we have found, see there's a piece of it right there. Yeah. That's a modern day root. Uh -oh. So that root right there, if you, if you collected it, um, you wouldn't be able to really get a, uh, a viable date. You'd get something, you know, 20th century, kind of like date using that, uh, the record albums to date that surface over there. Um, What's the turnaround time on the test? Um, it depends on the lab. Uh, Bruce was saying it can be six weeks. Uh, I need a bag or something to collect samples oh, of that's this. Like a baggie? Yeah. So, oh, you're labeling it up? Yeah, whenever I get the driving, I can say, wow, you only had one, this would be difficult. Yeah. Okay, when I was tossing yeah, I mean, you know, I've been hit by so many people going like, hey, catch this, bang, and I'm like. Yeah, that could be a reason why you got the B in golf. Mm -hmm.